Hot Doodle Help, the Picture Albums Block. The Picture Albums Block allows you to create multiple albums that each contain more than one picture. The difference between a picture block and picture albums block is that a picture block holds only one picture, while a picture albums block can hold more. Let's click Picture Albums to select the Picture Albums block. This block has several views. The default view lets you display more than one album, and each album can display several preview pictures. The compressed view will display pictures much closer together. This is more apparent when you have over nine images, and is great for portfolios and collages. The gallery list will display the names of all your albums, but won't show any pictures until you click on an album name. The rotator view will display a single image, and will display a different image from your album every time you refresh the page. The slideshow view will display one picture at a time, and will continuously cycle through the pictures in that album. For this tutorial, we'll select the default view, then click Save. First, you can add a title for your album. I'll be adding several landscapes, so I'll type my landscapes. You can then enter a description for your album. I'll type, this album contains landscapes I took with my digital camera. The thumbnails per row option lets you choose how many pictures will appear in each row of your album. Rows per page will determine how many rows will appear on each page of the picture album. And finally, rows on cover will determine how many rows will be previewed on the main page of your site. The size option lets you choose how big the images will appear when viewed all at once. You can enter a value for width and height in pixels. If you click on an image in your album, it will open fully blown up in a new window. If you check the show names box, then the name of the picture will appear below it. Checking the show descriptions box will show the picture's description beneath it as well. I'll check both these boxes. We'll go over editing picture names and descriptions in just a moment. Once you're fine with the settings, click Save. If you need to change any of the album settings that were just selected, click the Configure Album Properties button above. Now you can add pictures to your album by clicking Add Pictures. You can add up to 12 at a time. Click Browse to find the pictures on your computer, and then click Open. I have several pictures to add to this album, so I'll click Browse to find each of them. Once you've selected your pictures, click Save Pictures to Album. If you want to add more pictures, simply click Add Pictures again. Here you can change the order of the pictures by clicking the left and right blue arrows. To edit the name and description of a picture, click Edit beneath that picture. If you did not check off the Show Names or Show Descriptions box, then you do not need to do this. The Position drop-down menu lets you change the order of the pictures just as we could on the previous page. You can change the displayed name of the pictures by changing the name, and add a description by typing the text field. If you check the Skip box, then the image will not be displayed on the web page when in the rotator or slideshow view. However, the image will still be visible when you open the picture album. Once you're done, click Save. After you've added all pictures to your album and configured the settings you want, click Return to Main Page at the top. You can click Preview to see what your album looks like. If you click on the album's name, you can see all the images inside the album. If you click on a specific image, it will open up in full size in a new window, and you can slide through the pictures by clicking the blue arrows. If you want to add another album, go back into edit mode and click the Add Album button. Note that this is only visible when your picture albums block is in default view or gallery view.